Hi guys, I thought I'd do a quick walk around our old old implements today and show you what I want to do with them. That's a nice little arrows there, chain arrow in a frame, only small, nice for like compact. So that's handy with my little tractor, I'll do it quick so I'm going to minutes on the, the camera here. It's an old Massey Ferguson, uh, the three ton tipping trailer. My father put wood underneath there. He was a carpenter in his wisdom years ago, love him, and I'll uh, take all that away and uh, redo it. So that'll be another one for the future. And the ram, the, the seals are gone, pissing out the, the oil. But that's definitely one to do. I'll quickly walk around. That's a bale grab there for like uh, stacks of eight. Well, I'd I stack ten and I'd put it on the front loader. On a three point uh, edge. Got an A bob by you, which I painted a few years ago. Got a bit of a tart up, but I will do a tidy better in the future. But had all new tines, new springs, everything. It's alright, but um, I just don't really like them very that much. Which is handy to have. The old Viking, Aquabat. I'm definitely going to paint this in the next uh, few years. Definitely. The other white colour is the orange. It's all mechanically, it's all there. I know the grass is all around it now, but I'll try to cover them up better. Got a bale sledge here, which I use behind the baler. There's the baler by there. So, tidy bale sledge. All, all these orange stuff I just do, just hand painted, just to get a coat on them. And I'll go around them all tidy then. I'm doing a better spray job, like. Nice Lily tether here, which I converted to just tedding instead of tedding and rowing. It's a three meter wide and there's a Gemini, Lily Gemini. Same again, just hand painted it, build it up over the pits. Now I'll DA it all down, I don't know, 320, 400, and then paint it nice, the right colour. All new tines, brand new tines, all the way around. Spend a bit of time on this. I had to make one of these ends completely, there was nothing there. Straighten them all out. We had three of these over the years, same again. Scrapped them. Worst thing I've ever done. It's the last one I'm left with now. And a uh, good machine of Ted in. Really throws it all around. Quickly over here. I've got a front bucket there, a spike, an old roller, which I need a lot of loving. Maybe one day. Old Teagle, Dyna Cut 400, belt driven. I just put this weight on this side now because the tractor was very. When you lift that out, there's an heavy head on there. Heavy flails. And the stuff this to cut is unbelievable. We've had this for years. It's been brilliant. We do all our edges with it. And uh, one ram was changed there. I've got to sort that out, put some bush in there because that's a bit big for it. But I put that weight on here because when he was leaning it over, the, all the weight was coming off the inside wheel of the tractor and start spinning. So I balanced it out a bit better. I put more weights as well on you, but uh, that needs to be painted, so that's another job, painted. Definitely another one for the future. Too good to leave a, just rot, well not water away, we usually get covered up with a sheet here. I just took the belt off, we had a brand new belt on it this year. That's a brand new belt there, we had to order them from Teagle in Cornwall. So, that's mechanically is all there. Got a new bearing, put new bearing on. One of these sides this year. That was a favourite of work, mind. I'd have take the head off it just to change the that belt, eh? That was a nightmare. The old PZ two drum mower, yeah. Um, I totally restored. Well, now I restored it, but built it up. Made it out of uh, is it another part there eh, on the floor? Just cutting that up now for scrap. But um, we got to put new drums on it. Put different drums. The other drums had rotted away on the other one at a time. Well, get them all back on there. It was a nice, nasty job. I got better top for it, so I gotta do that. That's not a finished paint, that's just something to paint it up. It's a PZ CM165. Like I guess I've used that every year. I'm gonna do that up as well. Good drum mower. Alright, that's just a quick. Uh, Overview of a few of our implants we got. I know they're old, but I'm going to do them all up and uh, look after what we got. Alright, thanks.
Cheers.